transistor. I need four resistors. One transistor, four resistors. One more resistor, five resistors. And then one VDC. And then three capacitors. Three capacitors, one at the output side, one at the input side. One is at the emitter side, one capacitor. Okay. And then V sign, VDC one and V sign. V sign, I will take two. Message signal, carrier signal, two signals are there. So I will take V sign two. One is for message, another is for carrier. Then I will take ground earth ground earth one is for vdc and another is for common ground for the entire circuit okay so now i will just rotate them you click you know how to operate with the p spice you select the component control r means it will rotate select the next component again control r will rotate control r and then one more control r and then one more control r is there and at the output side, one more control R. Okay. And then this capacitor also, I will just rotate. And now I will try to make connection. This is at the input side, starting point, one click, ending point, one click. Again, starting point, one click, ending point, another click. And then here I am connecting to ground. And then I will also connect this here. At the emitter side, one resistor, then followed by V sign. And here I will connect. Just one minute. I will put these two resistors straight parallel. And then these two resistors also. It will be easy to remember if the circuit looks good. And now I will join these resistors. You can now see the circuit. This is like C amplifier only. This is like single state C amplifier. Starting point, ending point, one, one click. Okay. This By this, the circuit, uh, one more capacitor is left out. I will just connect it here. This is all about the circuit. This is all about the circuit. Okay. I will give the values. Then I will give some clarification how to remember. Now this resistor I will put because design values based on design values only. We will get output. We cannot do any values as we like. So this I am giving 20K. This resistor I am giving 10K. This two resistors 10K. This four resistors together are called potential divider. In CA amplifier biasing, if you see, potential divider is there. Four resistors will be available. The values I completed four resistors. These four resistors are called potential divider. Okay, this is 20K. This is 10K, 10K, 10K. And the output side, this resistor, I will give 1.5K. Output side, I will give 1.5K. And then now all the resistors in the circuit, I completed values. This capacitor, I will give 0 0.1 micro, 0 0.1 U. I have to type U from the keyboard, which is taken as micro, 0 0.1 U. This I will give as input side, I will give as 0 0.01 micro. And the output side capacitor, I will give us 0.001 U micro, 0.001 micro, okay. And this DC voltage, I will give it as 30 volts. VDC, DC value, I will give us 30 volts. Okay, I will again 
uh, revise or once again I will tell the values at the end. Now I, at the input side I will be giving high frequency carrier signal. High frequency carrier signal. Carrier signal V amplitude I will take as uh, 1 volt and the frequency I will take it as 4 kilohertz. Frequency I will take it as 4 kilohertz, 4k. Amplitude 1 and the frequency 4k. At the emitter side I will give message signal. Okay, message signal. Amplitude I will give 0 0.5 volts. Frequency I will give just 400 hertz. 400 hertz. Okay. And both of this V sign, both of this V sign, I should give V of 0. Both of this V sign, I should give V of 0. Okay. Both of this V sign, I will give V of 0. Now all my values setting are completed. Now I am going to revise the values once again. I will tell it out once again. Okay. So just once again, listen, this is our circuit. Here is the transistor. We have four resistors, R3, R4, R1, R2. R3, R4, R1, R2. The values are R3, 20K. Remaining three resistors, 10K, 10K, 10K. And we have three capacitors. One is at the emitter side, one is at the input side, and another at the output side. Emitter side, I am giving 0 0.1 micro. Input side, I am giving 0 0.01, one more zero extra, 0 0.01 micro. At the output side, I am giving 0 0.001 micro. Okay. This are the three capacitor values. DC voltage, I am giving 30 volts. Positive is connected to the resistor's point. Now, input side, this is the carrier signal. If you want to display the value, okay, you have to go like this. V of 0, I am giving amplitude 1, frequency 4K. Okay, these are the values we are setting for the carrier. High frequency carrier means 4K, I am giving. For message, I am giving 400 hertz. Okay, high frequency means 4 kilohertz. Just for the sake of waveform, design values, I am giving 4000, okay, for the carrier. But message signal here at the emitter, I gave just 400, okay, low frequency, high frequency. And if you want this values to be displayed, 0, 1, 4K are the carrier values I have set, 0, 1, 4K. Now you select any of this, go to change display, both name and value, okay. For just identification, the name uh, value also will be displayed here. Amplitude is 1. Frequency 4K. Now the message is at the emitter side. Here frequency 400. Amplitude I have decreased 0 0.5. If you see modulation index, message amplitude by carrier amplitude. AM divided by AC is the modulation index. 0 0.5 divided by 1 means half is the modulation index. Half. V of should be given 0 compulsory. V of should be given 0 compulsory. If you want the display, you just select the voltage, then change display, both name and value. Select this, change display, both name and value. Some display will come here, amplitude 0 0.5. Okay, here amplitude 1, here amplitude 0 0.5 I have given. Next, here frequency, message signal frequency, I have taken 400 hertz. And carrier signal frequency, I have given 4K means 4000 hertz. Output side resistor, I am taking 1.5 kilohertz. Output side resistor, I am taking 1.5 kilohertz. Now what I will do, I am taking the voltage probe over here. I am taking the voltage probe over here. I want the message signal first. I am putting here just at the head of message signal. Just at the head of message signal, this waveform will come first. Next, I want carrier. So just at the head of carrier signal, I am putting one more voltage probe, two waveforms. At the output, here is my output modulated signal I am putting at the output, okay, parallel to resistor. Across the resistor output is calculated. First waveform will be message signal waveform and here I am putting and second waveform will be carrier signal waveform and third waveform will be output modulated signal waveform, okay. Now go to analysis, go to analysis, setup, then select this transient and here what we will do. 0 milliseconds to just I will give 20 millisecond. Let me see what will be the waveform. 20 millisecond. 0 to 20 millisecond. Okay. These are the settings we need to do. Next, go with the simulation. Go with this yellow color icon. Simulate. Ma'am, can simulate. you repeat this setup analysis, ma'am? 
yes just the analysis go to analysis setup analysis setup then transient you click on this transient then 0 milli to 20 millisecond 0 millisecond to 20 millisecond 0 millisecond to 20 millisecond okay then close okay then close now you can run this simulate you can run this simulate you can run this simulate and then you have to save the file you have to save the file i am giving capital am2 capital am2 is my file name save capital am2 is the file name save and you can see some sort of waveform is there yes okay now you can see this red color is high frequency red color is high frequency high frequency means carrier signal this blue color is low frequency less number of repetitions that is message signal blue color is low frequency message signal the green color is nothing but the modulated waveform in the ppt i have shown you how the modulated waveform will be okay here some word extension then zero amplitude again extension again zero amplitude okay so the same thing we can observe in green color waveform green color some amplitude is there again zero amplitude again some amplitude is there zero amplitude again uh, amplitude is there zero amplitude okay so if you want to visualize better you can also take it for zero to 10 millisecond you can see more better or zero to 50 millisecond i will try zero to 50 millisecond in the setup analysis setup analysis just i will change zero to 50 millisecond and once again i will see the waveform zero to 50 okay once again simulate okay now it is not better than the previous okay earlier it was good so it is better 20 or 10 also you can try 10 millisecond for a better visibility or 40 30 something like that 